Welcome to homework. The given that when a super tanker is brought to a stop, its engines are typically cut off about 25 kilometers from port. Why is it so difficult to stop or turn a super tanker? So super tanker uh, has a property, has a significant physical property that super tanker has a very high mass. Since it has a very high mass, uh, 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 consecutively it has a very high momentum as well. And why is that? Because momentum is given by mass times velocity. So even for a smaller value of the velocity, because of, because of a huge value of mass, its momentum is very high. So since its momentum is very high, uh, uh, it's very difficult to stop it. Hence, a greater force, greater force is required, and that too for a longer period. For a longer period of time, because we know that there is a relation that f dt f delta t is equal to change in the momentum. Uh, so initially, it the finally uh, its momentum is uh, we have to bring it to stop. So that's zero minus the initial momentum is equal to f delta t. So since the momentum, this what, what we are talking about is mv, and this is a, this has a very high value. So the force uh, times delta t should be equal to this very high value. So it means that the force and the product of force and the time should be high, which means that each individually has to be high enough so that the product uh, meets the uh, meets the momentum, which is already high. Uh, because of this reason, it is very difficult to stop or turn a super tanker. Thank you.